accident up here on 278 somewhere and when the call came in they said the driver of one of the vehicles had jumped out and took off running from the scene so a couple of units were here and they had a description of him and spotted him and also the caller was given his direction of travel and we found him back there behind the uh the business of walgreens i'm assigned to a special unit which consists of four officers and we predominantly work the high crime areas and uh, our main focus is on drugs uh, any types of criminal activity we focus on these neighborhoods where we if we have a, a high call volume of, of burglaries being reported or robberies or things of that nature we just saturate that area in in attempt to deter the crime and make arrest and until we get the problem resolved uh, and we're able to respond to all the high priority calls. And then we also assist, just like in this situation, you know, I was close by to this call when it went out. So of course I'm gonna divert and go assist those guys. Just saw a, a guy here in one of our high crime areas turning there at the stop sign. He didn't have his seatbelt on. So we're gonna get up here and uh, conduct a traffic stop on him for the seatbelt violation and see what else it leads us into. and park up through that way, but I seen him throwing the lights and I was waiting on the car to back out, so I pulled down through this way. How often you smoke, smoke marijuana? It's been there since that month, but it's like I've been cutting off because up there. You're trying to break it off, yeah, lighting them cigarettes? Because of George Floyd. Oh yeah, they give you a drug test. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got no weed, no kind of drugs, nothing like you that on you, dude. Any in the car? You don't mind? You mind if I check you in the car? All right, look at me, that's just on TV, man. Oh. Just, put, just, just relax. You got anything that's going to poke me or stick me? No, sir. Not my cigarette money. <laughs> cigarette money. Hmm. Yeah, you hold that. I don't, want, I don't want to blow away or nothing. I ain't got that. That's good. I'm just doing my job, man. Already I hope done. you don't have nothing. That's the way I like it. That means I don't have to do no nothing. No bad pockets, sir. That's all you'll find, sir. Tell you now. Uh, keep going around. What's going on, sir? Bag of weed up under your seat up here. I'm gonna kill my fucking brother. Oh my fucking god, man. How about I give him that ball shit, man? Damn. Now I gotta explain this. I got, oh my goodness. Um, a lot of times they'll, they'll arrest someone and that person becomes an informant. And then we start sending that person in making con what we call a control purchase. And we call it that because we control everything about it. And so we will, we will send that informant in and make those controlled purchases and um, do that while, all the while we're in a uniform in that police car. Um, you know, they're not undercover, they're not in plane cars, 
And um, it seems difficult, but it's very, very easy because you never know when we're having an informant in because the police are always in your neighborhoods. So they don't know if we're in there buying drugs or if we're down there just patrolling. For this stop, um, I noticed that this vehicle had an expired tag. And um, with that, um, went ahead and initiated the stop. And um, when we did, we identified everyone in the car and found that one of the gentlemen had um, an outstanding warrant, um, both you know, out of the city and out of the county. And so once we confirmed those, um, we did arrest him and sub subsequently find that he had um, some drugs on him self as we did so um, he's also going to be given a citation for the possession of the marijuana and so he'll be taken to jail and we'll release the vehicle back to the driver um, and she's going to have a citation for that as well.